we are now going to calculate average an average rate of change. So how do we know how much something increases or decreases by in a given period of time, for instance, or in a given distance? And so what we're going to look at is a method of this. And so what we're going to look at is, so whatever is changing, our average rate of change, equals the change in the number of the item like an amount of newspaper sold, an amount of water drunk, and on the bottom is the change in time or the change in distance. And So notice this, this change implies a subtraction. It means we're going to take the new and we're going to subtract it, the old, from it. We're going to divide that by the new time or the later time. So this is amounts, and this is time or distance. And so this is how we calculate it. So let's look at some savings account. So here we know about Mark and Sally is all we really know is the beginning and the end. And we want to know the average rate of change from his amount in January, which was 3500 to his amount in December, which was 5000 So this is the old, and this is the new. And notice there's 11 months between January and December that play a role in this. So if we want to find the rate of change, that's going to equal the old 5000 minus the new Sorry, the new 5,000 minus the old 3,500 divided by December, which we're going to mark as a 12, minus January, which we mark as a 1. And so this is going to give us 1,500 over 11. Now here's where we want to grab the calculator. And if we take 1,500 divided by 11, we get 136, 36. We'll round to the nearest cent in this case. So this is our average rate of change. Every month it looks like Mark is able to put away another $136. Sally, on the other hand, she starts strong. But she doesn't end as well. She starts with 4000 but she only ends with 3500 So we put that first and we subtract 4000 from it. And we divide by the same 12 minus 1. So 3500 minus 4000 is minus 500. Divide that by 11. We grab our calculator back up. Notice with the computer calculator, you have to put the minus sign on after. And we show that she's pulling out about minus $45.45 from her savings account every month. Give or take, we don't know exactly how that works, but if it was spread out evenly over the year, that's what it would look like, and that's where this graph comes from. So this is how we calculate our average rate of change. The old subtracted from the new in both the thing that we're worried about and the thing that it's related to, time, distance, whatever it is.